It is time for our Feel Good Friday brought to us by Capital Dental Group. Now, our community is known for giving back and having a golden heart, and today's guest has just that. He spent the past 15 years helping people in our community have a second chance at life. Joining us today is Mark Smith, owner of Third Tradition Sober Living. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Of course. Okay, so Mark, I want to know a little bit more about what it is that you do. Uh, we provide a safe and structured environment for people trying to get back on their feet. Uh, the aftercare part of uh, uh, once they get clean to practice their, their living style. Okay, and why is that so important? It's important. We believe that uh, um, peer support, um, it, we're set in a community setting so people can actually practice living clean and sober. Okay, so you're kind of able to take what you're learning and apply it right then and there. I always tell people that we can learn from the good examples as well as the bad and uh, that life is a team sport and we all work together. Isn't that the truth? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Now, what got you into this line of work? Uh, I, I currently have 15 years clean and sober. Congratulations. All right. And uh, so I have not forgot what I felt like on February 22nd of 2007. And uh, one of my early goals is to hopefully, in the effort of helping other people, feel how I felt towards the end of my 26-year addiction. How would you say that you felt that day that you decided, okay, I'm, I'm going to be sober? Uh, at that time, I didn't. I didn't know that I could necessarily do it, all right, um, but the more that I, I started to hang around people that have done it, I mean, through peer example stuff, um, and then slowly over a period of time, I realized uh, that, uh, that it was possible. I kind of went into it uh, hopeless, not thinking that it could be done, um, but I don't know, my courage or um, it just Absolutely. started to grow over a period of time. Wow, that is amazing. That's definitely something to be proud of, for sure. Thank you. Absolutely. Can you explain the difference between a rehab and a sober living environment? What a... So we have treatment and recovery, and what we try to do, I mean, as a third tradition, is bridge recovery and treatment um, together at the same time because uh, you want to transition through the changes, stages of change, and there's five stages of change. All right, we want to we want to get to a point of being stable because by the time we stop using or drinking, all right, there's this uh, unstable period. So it takes you know, a little bit of time to get to a point of reducing life back to the simplest form and just concentrating on self. All right, and then, um, but at the same time, we want to breed, bridge the maintenance stage and the action stage together, all right, instead of making it two separate periods of time. Right. So you're better prepared um, through, through that period to... Uh, to go into the recovery stage. Yeah, so that you're just like you said, just said you, so you're better prepared through that recovery period yes. to go into the recovery stage. Which I tell everybody that sober living is the physical therapy, all right, um, to the treatment part. How important would you say this is to, you know, Kern County? Um, Ten years ago, I thought that we had met uh, the height of our epidemic of overdoses and the people that I was working with and seeing um, um, and I didn't think that it could get any worse from what it was 10 years ago, all right? But since COVID and the fentanyl um, that has been introduced, um, all of the overdose, um, it's, I, I couldn't give you a number on what it is, but I know that, uh, I, I know one time per week of somebody that is overdosing from fentanyl. Wow, so this is very important. And I know we were talking about, you know, the difference you have made in Kern County and all the people's lives that you have impacted here in Kern County. And we actually wanted to bring some of those people on the show today with you to surprise you. So they're joining us now. Um, <laughs> and they just wanted to express how thankful they are for the impact that you've had in your life. So uh, go ahead, we'll let you take it away. Uh, Mark, uh, a leader is somebody who knows the way goes away and shows away and on behalf of everybody you've ever helped i'd like to say thank you thank you thank you mark thank you mark thank you thank you, thank thank you. you guys so much for coming on today and uh, congratulations all on your recovery and your journey and congratulations to you for everything that you are doing here in our community where can people reach out to get a little bit more information uh, third tradition sober living telephone number is uh area code 661-735-3448 or you can Kill visit skull. them on uh, Facebook. That's facebook.com slash third tradition. You can find all their information there. Thank there you, you guys go. so much for coming on today. Mark, Chuck, thank you guys. We thank you. It.